You see that? That is snow. That is not ideal for anything going on that we've done. Planting, hopefully corn is gonna survive. So while it's snowing, I guess maybe I'll do a nice little video of some of the equipment we got here. Uh, here is our 6140R, it's our spraying tractor. Put to the MS 75 foot boom, 1,000 gallon tank. Been pretty happy with this piece of equipment. Uh, this tractor here is a 2013. And I think we bought that sprayer in 2010, maybe. I was like 16 or 17 years old when we got that, and I'm 31 now. Look at that snow. That's, that's crazy. This is supposed to be spring, but we are in Canada, and got to be prepared for this kind of weather. So, we're actually just testing the sprayer this morning. That's just water in there. This is the first time I've ran her since I put it away for the winter, so I'd like to check for leaks, which there was one, just no big deal, tighten the hose barb, and we're good to go. So we'll just empty this water out, fold her up, put her away in the heated shop because it is going to go to minus three. The is working nicely in this tractor, and we are done. Fold her up, and that'll be that. Obviously, gonna wait to uh, keep planting until after this freeze, um, and hopefully, we don't have to replant. But everybody says everything under the ground will be okay, so let's just hope. Start the equipment tour today. Uh, this is an International Harvester Farmall. I believe this is 1945. A uh, little bit of history. This was bought brand new. Came to this farm with steel wheels. Um, my grandfather has converted over to rubber wheels. Uh, we still use it today. Uh, it's a crank start. We could put a battery and a starter in it, but there'd be no fun in that. That's how it was built. We might as well use it that way. It still works. Uh, this baby runs a 10 inch auger to move feed into one of the bins for the uh, the chickens. Uh, the Bruns wagons, they're 375 bushels each. Uh, we use them in harvest and right now they're holding our bean seed. Um, we can fill that air, our air seeder bulk uh, with a belt auger. It's pretty handy. We don't have a seed cart or a seed tender. Um, just in our operation, we have these wagons, so we might as well use them. Then we got the 1655 Cockshut uh, as a gas-powered tractor. Um, it was bought brand new as well. Uh, we don't seem to get rid of a lot of stuff. We just keep them around. A uh, super handy tractor to have. Put it on a bush hog usually. It runs a 10-inch auger to fill the wet grain tank in season for harvest. Uh, and then over here is the... 65 or 65 new field 65 horsepower she's a diesel uh, this baby gets hooked to a 10 inch auger as well um, in season for harvest uh, it ships out corn if we have extra corn that we need to sell uh, this one will move it out of the dry grain tanks or dry corn um, and we'll just ship it out with this baby it works pretty good she's loud my grandfather uh, said he lost his hearing because of this tractor and he's right um, it it is super, super loud. And then right there is just our little grain cart or grain buggy, um, 500 bushel. Works for us, uh, super slick. Uh, would definitely not go without a grain cart anymore. Uh, then right here, uh, my dad bought this 6410. Um, it's a 1998, I believe. Uh, it used to do a lot of work on the farm. It used to run a six row corn planter. Then you'd unhook and you'd hook to the sprayer and you'd go spraying. Uh, it got really intense. Uh, this is, it's not really not that long ago anymore. I guess I was, uh, oh, 20 or 20, 21 when we uh, got rid of the six row and up to that 12 row. So it's quite, quite nice to do that. Now this tractor, uh, it's hooked to the fertilizer wagon. Um, just all around handy to have on the farm. You have to have a loader or you're just, you can't do anything. You gotta move dirt, you gotta move pallets. That's what we use it for. Uh, then the 600 bushel grain 
grain wagons, uh, RJs. We have another set just like this uh, in harvest. This is what we use to haul our grain. We do not use transports here. Like we don't own any transports. Um, just because we don't ship a lot of grain out of here, so we just use this to bring from field to our farm, and that's it's handy that way. They can still hold a lot of grain. We can move a lot in a day. Um, if I understand for the big guys why they have a truck, it's a lot handier to have a transport for speed, and you can handle more grain. But for us, um, I don't need to uh, have my guys go get a DZ or sorry, an AZ, I guess. Uh, and I don't have to safety them every year. It's, they're super handy for what we're doing with them. And uh, old blue, the old heavy Chevy. Uh, my brother actually repainted this truck uh, not quite a few years ago now. Um, it's been on the farm since That is a 1977 uh, Chevy pickup. We call it the heavy Chevy. Uh, it originally came with no bumper. You can see the, uh, the railroad tie actually fell off. I gotta get that fixed. Oh, maybe this summer we'll do that, um, but that is a homemade bumper. Used to be super heavy duty. Uh, this truck is heavy duty. You put a skid a seat in her and she doesn't squat very much. It's a one ton. Uh, they just don't make them like this. This is, this is hey, a sweetheart. The 60 r uh, my brother and I bought this tractor uh, a few years ago used. Uh, it's a 2013, uh, no def. Um, it had duels on it when we bought it. We ended up putting the big singles on it only because it pulls a manure tank and it pulls wagons and it does a little bit of tillage work. Um, for what we're using it for going down the road, it's just a lot nicer with it being narrower. Salford Cultivator, 30 feet. Uh, this has got smaller sweeps than uh, some guys are using, but a lot of guys in this area seem to like these particular uh, narrower sweeps. Um, it, they do a really, really beautiful job. Uh, those don't wear out that much. Um, they do a, a perfectly level job. Uh, just We're just basically, for what we do, we just like to tickle the dirt. We don't really like to work it too much. We're just scratching the surface. So that's what this cultivator does, is just, just tickle the dirt. Not really You've seen it. my other videos. This is our 30 foot, 12 row corn planter. Uh, it does a lot of no tilling. Um, it works great for us with the 7630 hooked up to it. Um, my dad, my brother and I bought this tractor. Uh, it's a 2010, I believe. Um, I, this is my favorite tractor. This is the one I use the most because I do all the planting for, of corn anyways. Um, so it, it really does a, it's got a lot of horsepower. It's perfect setup for that planter. Uh, I just love then it. Then our 7710, uh, my dad bought this one brand new. Um, back in 1997. My brother and I have repainted it only because we have waxed it too much and actually burnt through the clear coat and it, so it just needed to be repainted just because we like to keep it shiny. Uh, this is an awesome tractor. It's got the 8.1 liter in it. Uh, we use it um, on the green buggy and on the 30 foot air seeder. Uh, this is a sweet piece of equipment. Uh, you get, my brother and I bought this piece. Our first piece of equipment I think Owen and I have ever bought brand new as a pair without my dad involved. Uh, so it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. Uh, we do It no-tills beans in. Um, I think in my other video I said it was vacuum, but it's actually a blower. It blows the beans to the units. Um, so the beans sit up in that bulk tank which is pretty sweet. This is our first bulk tank. You've seen me slug bags. Um, and then it gets blown through these hoses right into the ground. Uh, real slick setup. Um, you can just sit and plant with it. It's, it is nice. Yes, 660. Uh, my brother and I bought this one used a few years ago. We were actually running a 9410 combine, which is quite a bit smaller. Uh, it actually caught on fire and this one came up for sale uh, the price was right um it's this was a huge huge upgrade compared we were using a, an 18 foot bean head we stepped it up to a 30 foot bean head and man oh man can we just mow beans now it's it's awesome uh we are still just using the six row corn head um it yet again i know it's small but it works for us we can get the acres covered we need to in a day 
The bottleneck really at the end of the day can be the dryer, um, but still on a dry year, everything is just perfectly flowing. Nobody's waiting. So like I said, it works for us. Uh, here is the Comber snap rolls that I was talking about in the other video. These babies, um, they work awesome. Um, since we're no tilling, uh, I'll go back in the field later on in the season. You'll see that the residue is even less than what it is now. It breaks down so fast. It, uh, it just does a beautiful job. Having said that, he claims that this will not suck horsepower. I call BS. These things suck horsepower. Uh, we did not. <coughs> this combine is tuned. Uh, and it was interesting this season. It went in for service and they took the tune out, put it back to stock. Uh, cutting with that 30 foot head, I was, I was noticing a difference. And then with this corn head, we had to slow down on the go with a six row. That should not happen. So put the tune back in, not a problem. Now we can do the desired mile an hour that we want, which is about five. And, uh, but yeah, if you do buy them, just be aware, they suck so the horse. There's our two 10 inch augers. One is for wet corn, one is for dry. Uh, we got a set of 30 foot packers that we sometimes run on the back of the cultivator or on that sunflower. That is a vertical tillage unit. Um, depending on our conditions, it is handy. We do do no till, but we also do till. There is a need for it. Uh, it's all about your soil conditions and what you had to deal with that year. So, you know, on a wet year, we've had to work some ruts. That is handy. This is our Case IH Ripper. Um, yet again, we do work some of our ground, our heavier clay ground, we do like to work. We'll either use this or the chisel plow. Uh, it all depends. I mean, sometimes you get compacted areas. You need this type of equipment also in no-till conditions because you just don't know what the season is going to bring. I love to no-till, but it doesn't always work that well. So we're just going to work a spot here today. That's all we're doing. Just a quick wall from there to there. And you can see the end. Just this, we had a tile job here, just want to level it out. Um, so that's cold, odd jobs. It's going to warm up though next week. for the day it thinks hey I should do a regen why don't you do that in the field it'd be a lot easier so if you like our equipment and like what you see uh, push that like or subscribe button um, it is kind of interesting on YouTube I love watching YouTube uh, you get to see how other farmers do different equipment they have uh, mine isn't as big as some others mine is bigger than some others uh, it comes down to it doesn't matter what the equipment you have it's how you use it and how you farm because we're all doing a great job guys